Alright, so this video here we're going to talk about the nth term test for divergence. Alright, so it says if the limit of a sub n as n goes to infinity does not equal zero, then the series diverges. Okay, that's if it does not equal zero, the limit. Now, if the limit equals zero, that doesn't mean that the series is going to converge. Okay. This this theorem here, this in term test for divergence, it only tests to see if the series diverges. Okay, so if we take the limit as a sub n, uh, well, if we take the limit of a sub n as n goes to infinity, and that does not equal zero, then we say it diverges. If it equals zero, then we can't come to any conclusion. Alright, so I've got three examples I'm going to work. Let's go ahead and take a look at these. Alright, so here, okay, here's my a sub n, that's 2 to the n. So I'll take the limit as n goes to infinity of 2 to the n. Well, as n goes to infinity, this term's just getting larger and larger. So it's going to what? It's going to infinity. Okay, and you can see that this limit does not equal zero, so that means it diverges. Okay, let's take a look at another one. All right, so here's my a sub n, n factorial over 2 n factorial plus 1. So I'll take the limit as n goes to infinity of n factorial over 2n factorial plus 1. Now, do you remember how to take the limit of a rational expression if the variable is going to infinity? All I want to do is keep the largest term from the numerator and largest term from the denominator. This 1 down here in the denominator, it's not going to make any difference. So, I've got the limit as n goes to infinity of n factorial over 2n factorial. Okay, I don't keep the 1, I just keep the largest terms from the numerator and denominator. And that's going to be the limit as n goes to infinity. And then you can see here the n factorials cancel out. And I'm left with 1 half. So this limit is equal to 1 half. And you can see that this limit here does not equal zero, so that means this diverges. Okay, all right, so let's take a look at one more. All right, so my a sub n is one over n, so I take the limit as n goes to infinity of one over n. And as n gets larger and larger, okay, you can see that the denominator is getting larger and larger. So that means the whole fraction is doing what? It's going to zero. So you can see that this limit is equal to zero. So we can't make any conclusion about this. We can't say that it converges, okay? We can't, we can't draw any conclusion about convergence or divergence. And I don't know if you've gotten to this yet, but you'll see, if you haven't, then you'll see, you'll see that this limit here actually diverges. And that is from, and that's from a P-series. Okay, and I'll talk about that in another video, but it's you, you look at the exponent here, this exponent's 1, and since that exponent's 1, that tells us that it diverges. But we're not saying that it diverges because of, well, we can't say that it diverges because of this, because the only way from the nth, the nth term test for divergence 
if the limit does not equal zero, then that means it diverges. But since it equals zero, we can't draw any conclusions. But we would have to use another test. Okay. So just remember that the nth term test for divergence, that's all it does is it, it, it just checks to see if the series diverges. And that is if the limit does not equal zero, then it diverges. If it equals zero, you can't draw any conclusions about it. You would have to use another test. Okay. All right, so I hope this has helped. Uh, if you like the videos, you can watch some more of them or you can subscribe. All right, thanks.